This is horrible fucking mining. Hey, meow. Turn the, uh... Uh, oh, body's in pain because I didn't really get to sleep because I uh, wanted to watch a movie instead, you know. Just watched a movie called The Creator. Great film, great film. Trash ending. I know it doesn't end here. Like, you destroyed the big machine that kills a bunch of people. That, in my opinion, kept everyone in check. And then. War still rages. The furiosity. Well, even even the, the old robot Japanese guy was like, it won't win us the war, but it will certainly change the tide. The war still happens. The war still rages. Millions of lives lost, irregardless. What victory is this? This is just fucking idiocracy. It's so fucking stupid. It's hard to fathom. Especially with the nuke thing as well, like, it, it, we, we figure out... <sighs> the movie's two months old. If you haven't watched the movie yet, then... Why the fuck are you watching this? Especially when we figure out, like, the nuke that happened in the beginning of the movie... It wasn't because of AI, or because of human error. And the, the humans blamed it on AI, and they fucked up the robots. I'm just thinking to myself, like, oh... <laughs> Who the fuck are idiots? Like, previously, a race which was progressing at a rate hundreds of years what was previously. What's that word again? Not predicted. I think previously projected is a good thing. We progressed as a race. Hundreds of years ahead of what we were projected to progress. And then it all goes like the shit because of big boom. Because of war. And it makes, me, it makes me really think like. If a world war happens. We're all fucked. But like you probably, everyone's probably going to be like. Oh yeah but, but duh. Well, thanks Captain Obvious. No 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 no. We're all fucked. All of us. It's going to. It's. It's over. The dark ages type shit. You know what I'm saying? It's over, bro. It's, 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 it's done. And world war needs to be avoided at all cost. Fuck the race war. Fuck the gender war. Fuck the pay gap. If a world war happens, you and everyone you know are toast. There will be no safe haven, no safe space. Perhaps some random island in the Bahamas. Perhaps. Spend, if you're a billionaire, spend all your fucking money. Go there. Maybe Dubai. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, it, it's, it's done, bro. It's over. It is over. <sighs> like it is, it was a good movie, but like it was kind of stupid. It was a stupid movie with a stupid ending. It's like very good. CGI is amazing, but like ultimately, it's a fucking. It's pretty. It's a pretty sad movie, of course, but it's a pretty fucking dumb movie. Like with the romance thing as well. Like I'm not against romance, but like it's just it's fucking, it's fucking dumb. Guys. It's just like uh, I. I I, I wrapped up the movie, think to myself, I could have done so, so much more with this time. I could have been in bed, I could have been sleeping, I could have been working, I could have been grinding, I could have been doing something, I could be earning money, I could have been doing this, I could be doing that. No, I, I, I decided to watch a fucking movie, The Creator, and waste my time. Guys, it is a good movie, but the ending is like, it reminds me of all the fucking... Um, Studio Ghibli movies, it's always good in the beginning, extremely engaging, good in the middle, but the ending is always subpar, and you always leave, like, with a feeling of, oh damn, that's what happened, you know what I'm saying, like, it's just, okay, now I'm kind of sad, it's just, 
It's kind of shit if you think about it. If, you, if, if the only emotion you feel is that, you could argue that. Oh, yeah, well, can't see the big game. Oh, can't see the big game. Do the end game. The end game is all that matters, bro. Because you're going to be there. All that matters. It's fucking 7 a.m. I got no sleep. I've been awake since 7 a.m. the day before. I fuck my sleep schedule for this. Side so disappointed. Don't watch the movie, guys. Don't fucking watch the movie. I kind of regret. I should just like just click off the tab every single time. Like I have like a list of movies I want to watch. I write it down, and then I don't fucking watch them. I have the tabs open, and then I look at the list, and then I close the fucking list. Then I close the tabs and I don't watch them and I save myself valuable hours that I'll never ever get back. Fucking hell. That movie was a. Oh god damn. It was a hot mess. Absolute hot mess. Like, I don't, I don't know if like the self improvement shit has gone to me too much, but I genuinely think I can't really sit down and enjoy movies anymore. I enjoyed Loki. Well, Loki was fucking good. I enjoyed Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty was very fucking good. Makes me yearn for more. Well, those are like the creme de la creme. The, the best shit. That's like... That's like hating weed. But, you know... You, you have like the, the best quality... Natural... Like... A, a, just a right amount of CBD... Edible weed. I think. I, I wouldn't smoke. I would only eat weed. Because smoking is just... It's just dumb. But that's like... That's that's the like that's, that's the analogy that I could put in, even though I would actually try to read my entire life. Many of my friends have told me to try it, but I'm like, nah. One of my friends told me that <laughs> first time he smoked, uh, he he started vomiting. I was like, nope, nope, hell no, I hate vomiting. Because last time I, I vomited, they got food poisoning. I was like, oh my days, I literally vomited my soul out. It is it is unnatural. It is incredibly unnatural. So, that's what, to end the tangent there, that's what I think about the movie. That's what I think about most movies, like, up front. Um, I did enjoy Crazy Rich Asians, I watched that a while ago. And I did enjoy Bling Empire, when I watched that a while ago. But I, do, I still do remember, like, leaving these fucking movies with, like, a bitterness, like, like an angerness. And maybe I'm just this type of person. Perhaps I'm this type of person because of some problem or jealousy or FOMO. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is one of these things. I left Crazy Rich Asians thinking, these fucking stuck-up brats, these fucking rich piece of shit, fucking living that life, first class, fuck. <laughs> and I thought something similar as well, leaving Bling Empire, like, motherfuckers, this is even, this is real as well, oh, Lord have mercy. Bl Crazy Rich Asians was fake, it was just a movie. It's probably true, like, they're probably some fucking, like, you know, rich Asians, that have like you know Indian guards at the door, you know shooting everyone off with guns and everything in the middle of fuck all nowhere, and they're ultra rich and they're ultra tucked away and ultra you know powerful and whatever. yeah, it probably exists. Motherfuckers like renting out cargo ships to party, most likely exists. They all they, they all definitely do exist. But Bling Empire was like a like a real time glimpse, motherfucker. <laughs> it was a it was a real time gl glimpse into see how like, how fucked up these guys were, man. But at the end of the day, they are people too. I keep forgetting that, like, you know, becoming rich doesn't solve all your problems. Kind of weird. But the bitterness and the anger that I see from their lifestyle, it remains. Like, completely remains. I'm not, not going to lie to you, either. Like, the jealousy I feel is immeasurable. The jealousy I feel. We off the roots by day. <sighs> <sighs> Extremely tired now. Uh, yeah. Who would have known watching movies was a bad idea? Dude, my cat is fucking got ballistic, bro. I think there's some birds and shit. I'm gonna leave that in there. Probably just for the low quality. I need a better camera. This, this, this webcam is fucking dog shit. I need, I need like a good webcam. Or like a really, really good one, like record like 1080p, 4K, some shit, you know, without all this jittery lagginess, because it's fucking me up, but, yeah, I finished watching that movie, it is, fucking hell, 
Great visuals. Great story. Horrible ending. I'm not, I'm not a big ending guy. It, it's, it's rare, like, I'll actually enjoy ending. With Rick and Morty, every single season I watch, even with, like, Justin Roiland out of the picture, I still fucking hate the ending of every episode. I, I need more. I, I need to be, like, fucking fully satisfied, fully satiated. Invincible, I started watching that recently as well. A handful of shows. It sounds like a lot, but it really is. I watched Loki, finished. Invincible, still going. Rick and Morty, still going. I'm watching two shows at the moment. Blinking Empire, I think that's in the past. I just have a fucking sharp ass memory. You know, I get punched in the head for boxing. Um, I don't need to stop saying um. I, I, don't, I said um like forcefully. Then it becomes like, second nature, which is so stupid. Well, I think from here on out, my advice, from the bottom of my heart, and you might, you might hate me for it, this is fine. You might despise me for it. You might leave a hate comment. Or oh, Jimmy, you're a bitch. Jimmy, you're Asian. <laughs> you might hate me for it, but my genuine advice is just not watch fucking movies. Just don't watch movies, man. It's just such a fucking waste of time. God damn it. I, I dislike endings much as the next guy, but holy shit. This is fucking... This is gruesome, motherfucker. This is fucking. Whew. Oh my god. I don't. Know, I just. I what the thing is with my life is. The problem with self improvement is you work, 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 sleep, rest, meditate, read books, journal, work, 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 work exercise, part work, 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 and then you you might want an instant gratification activity. You might want an activity like smoking weed or eating edibles or doing something slightly degenerate, like maybe bashing the bishop or anything along these lines. Watching a movie, watching a TV show, you know, going to watch a TikTok, Instagram. You might do something like that. But it's never fucking worth it. It's never worth it. I couldn't help but like at the end of the movie just like zone out I'm really trying to, I'm really trying to I'm really trying to give a fuck about you know the spaceship exploding and, you know everyone dying and oh my god it's so sad and two main characters are kissing and I, I really don't give a fuck like if it wasn't the consequence of my own actions it's in my eyes look, look, look at my eyes <laughs> like she could have just chose not to go into the nomad strike she could have just you know got arrested uh uh Give birth, uh, <sighs> dumb, man. but that's love, but that's a movie, but yeah, I just don't watch movies, man, don't waste your time, don't waste your energy, it's, it's OTT, like, it's like, if you meet a girl, and like, the only thing you have in common are like, music, and movies, and TV show, and raves, and you know, common interests, and, oh, I really like this guy's band, and I really, I think, Top G talk, talked about himself. I think Hamza talked about it himself. I think Ima actually talked about himself. But like, you meet people or a person who's really into this type of shit. Never get too close to them. Never get too close. Because they're not to be rude or anything. That's per, their prerogative at the end of the day. And that's their business at the end of the day. And we have no right in order to interject and intervene and potentially dissuade them from pursuing such activities. But we do have a right to be reserved. We do have a right. Don't like it too close to these individuals. Motherfucker, man. You meet a girl. Oh, yeah, I really like that movie. I really like Beyonce. I really like that. Instagram gratification. Do you think you'll be genuinely happy with this person? No. Another, another thing I wanted to say is like. Friends. Before self improvement, you probably had more friends than ever before. Perhaps you're talking to more girls than before. Talking to, doing anything? No. Friend zone. That's it's very common. So it's weirdly common, but it doesn't surprise me too much because women like attention, and girls like attention. So oh fuck it, we all like attention. It just this is not like, to a degree. It's not nice to be completely and utterly lonely. What's wrong with that?
It's in the fucking 40 laws of power, for fuck's sake. Covert attention at all costs. That book, that book. I need to finish that book, but like, it's so childish. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Friends, when you were at your lowest point, or when you were before some in your period before self recruitment, you probably had more friends than ever before. I probably was consistently talking to like 50 people a day. I have hundreds, potentially thousands of contacts. I haven't really checked. The last time I checked, it was like 800, 900 contacts. But then I met a lot of people since then, and that was a while ago. So <laughs> it's probably much more than that. I'm talking to like 50 people, maybe 100 people a day, just fucking on WhatsApp, texting, 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 like a fucking, like a, like a loser. I'm so popular, guys. No, you're not. You're a geek. You had more friends at that point because all you were investing in was instant gratification bullshit. Am I surprised? No, I'm not surprised. It is what it is. It is so fucking weird that everyone is in the bubble. Everyone is in the system. Everyone is in the matrix. And the, mo the majority of the people, by the Matrix, would rather eat the steak, but the brain tells them the steak is yummy, instead of pursuing the truth, instead of doing what needs to be done. I've had many pitfalls in my self the journey, many moments of hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. I admit that as truth. Oh my god, you're watching a movie, but you're supposed to be in self improvement. You're eating chocolate, but you're supposed to be in self improvement. You're to be a blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah. I've had many moments of doing it. I can raise my hand up and say it. You can mock me. Mock me. Mock me. Mock me. Mock me. <laughs> you can mock me 100%. Yeah, it's the truth. You can say something about it. But the, at the end of the day, things are all said and done. The, clo the curtains are closed. We all die. I think having death in mind is quite... Quite liberating. It's quite... In a way, almost... Fear-mongering. Like the fear of God type shit. It's fucking metal, you know what I'm saying? I say often in this channel, live mediocre, die mediocre. I usually say at the end of my videos. Bro, you live mediocre, you die mediocre. You live enjoying your life. You live enjoying your life. Partying, clubbing, playing video games, you know, doing the do. Sure. Sure. You'll die mediocre. You know, I think about it often, because my friend was 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 mocking me before. He was like, oh, you work too much, you work too hard. Well, I have like fucking 10, 15 projects that I've only got like 50% done. I, I need to work harder. I'm not doing enough. And I think about to myself again, like, would I rather be this person that regret not working harder when they were younger and partying so much, or would I rather be the person who works so hard and regrets that they never partied as much when they were young, never enjoyed life, but they're successful? So who gives a fuck? The grind. I remember, I remember the first man saying this like very, very clearly. First man. Chris, Chris Termi from First Man. He said something very, very clear that really, 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 really resonated with me. And I keep, and I have it as an MP3 file. His video as an MP3 file saved. And I listen to it often. And he talks about, and this is a while ago as well, like streaming platform and this type of product. And this, the, like before any of it was done and before he was anything, he talked about it. He said, when I was 18, I was grinding. 18 to 25, 25 to 30, I was grinding. Now I'm, now, now I'm set. I have enough money to do whatever I want. While everyone else around me 
is now having to do the grind years now. I think about that often. I think about that like fucking heavily. Especially after reading in the Millionaire Fast Lane. Especially after reading that. That shit will fucking awoke in my third eye or shit. Because the Millionaire Fast Lane states very, very clearly in the beginning of the book. By eight if you work extremely hard, but and if you and you're eighteen, by twenty five you could be filthy rich. Filthy. Tens of millions of dollars rich. This is entirely possible. It will take years of dedication, working hard, day in, day out, relentless aggression, of course. But at that, at some point, you, you'll enjoy it. You'll be young enough to enjoy it. And I think to myself, I'm often like, fuck, yeah. And I measure the decision of my, my, my brain often, I don't really truly understand this. And I, and I sometimes have to remind myself, oh, live mediocre, die mediocre, Jimmy. You live mediocre, you watch the shitty movie, you watch the shitty TV show. Hold on, Rick and Morty's pretty fucking good. I shouldn't, I shouldn't watch it though. You watch the fucking bullshit. Perhaps for your sanity as you cope. I need to watch it because I need to relax. What the fuck, what, what have you done? What have you done? How much money have you made? How many projects have you completed? How many result, tangible results? Have you fucking shown to the world, to yourself, to other people? What the fuck's the point? It's corpism, man. I fucking watch movies. Leave me, Nyoka, die, Nyoka. See you guys in the next video. Peace.